Hey Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. We're going to take a look and see what you can expect from this connection and from your romantic energy. So whether you're in a relationship with this person, whether you're, you know, just loosely involved with this particular energy, we'll see what the cards predict for you in this connection. Um, and we'll also be using some Angel Answers Oracle cards here just to see what guidance they may give for you. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So once again, this reading here is intended for Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. So that's all air signs. So what can you expect from your romantic energy? And what can you expect for the future of this connection? Okay, you've got the Magician, you've got Three of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, Death, the Ace of Wands, and the King of Cups. Okay, you've got two Aces here, and Aces, of course, are all about new beginnings, okay? So I do feel like there is a lot of expectations that um, are sort of lining up for this connection. Uh, firstly, with the Magician, this is, you know, all things are possible, this is manifestation, so... For those of you that do have goals, intentions, and motivations for this connection, I do feel like they're going to be manifested, okay? Or you are slowly manifesting. This is someone who, this particular romantic energy that you're involved with is someone who is a manifestation of your work, okay? So this is someone whom you manifested. You attracted one, one another, whether it was, you know, by your vibrational energies, by being at the right place at the right time, or gravitational pull towards one another, or whether it's this soul connection where you two just speak to one, to one another without uttering a word. This is the re result of your manifestation as well as their manifestation, because in order to attract each other, you have to be on that same frequency, and you guys must certainly are. There is a lot of abundance for this connection here. I feel like there is a lot of possibilities and a lot of opportunities that could really result from this connection. And again, I feel like for those of you that do hold certain intentions or certain goals in mind for this connection, I do feel like these are slowly coming to manifest, okay, to fruition here. A lot of abundance. And I feel like this is the ideal partnership or this is your ideal person. I do feel like there's a lot of for a lot of you, this is a, there's a lot of happiness here between you and this person. I mean, that's not to say you're not, you know, this connection or relationship is not going to be without its challenges. I mean, all relationships are work and such is the natural rhythm of life. There's always ups and downs. But I feel like the two of you have what it takes to meet those obstacles and meet those challenges and just work through things. OK, so the magician, I really feel like is a reminder here that you are creating the life or you can create the life that you want with this person. And, you know, whatever whatever type of relationship you want, essentially, you can manifest it because you do have all the tools at, the, uh, at your disposal. So, and again, I mean, look how far you've come with this individual. It's because you, you did it. You've attracted this person into your life and you've manifested all that the two of you have together. So whether you're in a long-term relationship, a partnership, or even like a marriage with this person, you did it. And even if you're just loosely involved with this person, again, you know, give credit where it's true. It's all a manifestation of your um, work here. Now, Three of Cups, for a lot of you, this is someone whom you're going to be getting uh, engaged with. I see the two of you are going to, I feel like it's either you here, guys, because I mean, your air energies, you are quite personable. I do see, you know, large social circle of friends around you, or it could be your energy as well. Some of you are dealing uh, with a water energy, okay? Strong Cancer's coming up, Pisces, a Scorpio. Now, I feel like a lot of you will be attending a lot of parties or social events together, okay? Um, I'm also seeing possible engagement. This is someone whom you potentially might be getting engaged to. I feel like it could be within the third year of meeting this individual. Um, or it could be like March, an engagement around the month of March. So either the announcement or the actual engagement. Um, this is someone who I feel like is going to propose to you. This is someone who I feel like you're going to settle down and get married, get engaged to. Notice the infinity symbol that hovers around the loop. I feel like you found your forever person, guys. And I feel like a part of you, okay, whether a small part or a big part of you already felt that from like the first couple of dates or the first time you kind of you know spent the first few times that you spent with one another here so a lot of happiness I feel like this person is going to bring a lot of happiness into your life and you're going to bring a lot of happiness into their life here um, I'm seeing there's a lot of there's a strong approval from family and friends 
that's coming through and I do feel like this is someone who you're going to I've mentioned this but I feel like this is someone whom you're going to get engaged with and I feel like that's happening sooner than later for a lot of you okay um this is someone who I feel like you're going you're doing a lot of things with this person so I don't know I feel like you guys are really out and about I don't know if you guys are like always constantly exploring or you like visiting new places or you know frequenting all these restaurants and bars but I see you doing a lot of activity activity sorry with this individual here um they're a good dancer they're great on their feet as are you and I just feel like you're so in sync with one another not only physically but also on a spiritual level like you just get one another your souls just match okay and you can really dance to each other's rhythm here now I feel very strongly that this is someone who is going to propose to you, okay? I see them gifting something very special to you. Now, for some of you, I see an actual promise ring before the actual engagement ring. I feel like they're going to gift you something very small. It could be like a pendant or a charm. For a lot of you, it is a ring. It could be earrings. This is... This gift that they gift you here, I feel like is already... It's sort of like a promise of everything that they want to, like... Um, you know, all these little treasures that they want to spoil you with. So this is already a promise of their intentions and their commitment for you and, you know, towards this connection here. So this is already a good hint or good indication of their commitment and of their, you know, intentions and the motivations for this connection. This is someone who I did mention, I feel like this is someone you're going to get married to, you're going to get... um engaged with. Now, for some of you, you might skip that process and you might move in straight, you might move, you might go straight to like living together living with this individual okay i just see a lot of abundance a lot of abundance here around this connection a lot of new beginnings as well for some of you this is going to be a proper um like a long-term relationship because for a lot of you you've never really had like a proper relationship you're going to have that with this individual for a lot of you this is new beginnings as in engagements weddings marriages or even just like a new beginning in your life it could mark a new cycle or you could just feel like you're fu for a lot of you, this person brings a lot of energy into your life. And for a lot of you, this is why I feel like there's like a new beginning. I'm also seeing them either starting a new career or you inspire them to start a new career. I feel like there's a lot of inspiration that you give to this energy. And they're inspired to do better because of you. It's like you're their better half and they always want to strive to do better. Like you make them be a better man or woman here so I feel like you're going to bring a lot of inspiration into their life I also feel like the two of you might collaborate and actually go in and do business together so some sort of partnership or start a business here um, or you might assist them with their business but again I see a lot of inspiration here I'm also seeing a lot of success so someone here I feel like is earning um, a lot of money here so accumulating a lot of wealth a lot of prestige a lot of success a lot of abundance here especially when it comes to career okay this individual could also be in finance or will end up in finance here um a very powerful transformative energy i do feel like this connection is going to change you okay for a lot of you i do feel like this is for your forever person but for those of you that if this connection doesn't last you will always remember this person this person will always remember you this is something that's going to change you you will never be the same after this individual because i feel like there's just so many new experiences and new emotions that are even foreign to a lot of you that you're going to share with this person. So definitely a very transform, um, transformational kind of energy, a lot of transitions, um, a lot of travel as well is coming up around this individual. So I don't know if some of you are going to go overseas and meet this person overseas or have met them overseas or whether the two of you are going to be doing a lot of traveling together in the future because I feel like there's a lot of movement here um this can there's going to be a lot of like ups and downs in this connection I feel like there will be even periods where the two of you will break up for periods of time it could be like for months or even up to half a year but you'll come back together okay because you know souls that are meant for each other and that truly love each other always find a way to gravitate back towards one another there's a very strong attraction here you guys are very very attracted to one another they've ignited something in you and you've ignited something in them so huge spark which is what i think got you know both of your attention right in the beginning you guys are just very physically drawn to one another um there's a lot of growth a lot of opportunity for growth and abundance around this connection so not only will this connection grow and continue to grow not only will there be like challenges and obstacles that will push you outside of your comfort zone and that will evolve you but i'm also seeing that there's going to be setbacks as well okay so again those setbacks are really going to help you grow 
not only as partners but also as individuals so a lot of opportunity here a lot of blessings i feel like to be honest with you i feel like there's some this person was sent to you okay because i feel like they're really special um and yeah i feel like there's just so much growth here there's so much you can teach each other it does feel like a twin flame though for a lot of you it kind of feels like a twin flame just because of this like fire energy that i'm getting like they've ignited something within you now the king of cups um, so strong water energy is coming up for you guys. You're dealing with the water energy. This is someone who's very emotionally sensitive, okay? And your elements, if you are dealing with the water energy, your elements are very, very different. Be, be careful. Be careful, air energies, not to drown in their emotions, okay? Because even they themselves are at times way too consumed by their emotional reactions here. So if you can find a way to really make your, you know, the difference in your elements complement one another, I feel like this will be truly special. But other times I do feel like this is where you're going to struggle the most. You two are just two different people. Hey, opposites attract. They really do. I get it. But sometimes you're just really, really different. Like two very different people where sometimes you'll look at this person and they'll look at you and just go wow um you know you really think differently even though you're really in sync with one another you just see things differently you feel things differently you think differently but i like that because if you can find a way to complement those differences i really feel like there's a lot of you know growth there I and mean, there's a lot of um emotional experience as well so we'll see what the angel answers have for you in this connection Okay, listen to your intuition, abundance, and romance. Exactly. So listen to your intuition about this connection. If there's any part of you that ever doubts this connection, or if there's any part of you that feels a little bit unsure, listen to your intuition because it's go going to give you answers. It's going to steer you in the right direction. I did mention that there was a lot of abundance in this connection. There's an abundance of emotions and energies and opportunities and prosper uh, prosperity here. Strong romantic energy. This is someone who is uh, very romantic and I feel like this person will give you a lot of romance as well so this is why I feel like the engagement is probably going to come in very quick or the proposal just because this person is in love with you and you know they want to wine and dine you they want to show you just how much they're committed to this connection this is why you'll see in the early stages you know them showering you with all these romantic gestures so romance they're really big on romance okay romance is really big with the force the force of romance is really strong with this one Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking or comment, sharing, um, commenting if they're open the section. I don't know. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching and listening. I'll catch up with you later. Bye for now.